everyone. Welcome back to Apple One to One. This is Will. Thank you guys for joining us, and please like and subscribe all the content that we're creating. Uh, we don't have to wait for all the Apple intelligence stuff to come out because ChatGPT is available now on your Mac OS desktop. So you can chat about emails, screenshots, files, anything on your screen, and you can download this for Mac OS right now. So I already started the download of this, uh, so you can see that it's showing you kind of an example right here on the screen. There's really not too much to it. Uh, so the, I'm going to let the screen kind of tell you the work. You can message ChatGPT, anything you want to do. You can take a photo, uh, open an app. So you have all these opportunities, and it's done with a quick keyboard install. So I went ahead and, ahead and installed this. What happens is you install it on your Mac. It's basically a drag and drop it to your application folder. You can sign it with your Google account or an account if you already have one, especially if you have a paid account. And I have ChatGPT right here. So it's set up. I'm going to actually just quit the app just so you can see what happens. So I'm just going to open ChatGPT. Uh, it opens up a message window, but you can also do option spacebar. That is a shortcut already set up. So I'm going to close everything. I'm going to hit option space, but you can message ChatGPT right here. You can also open uh, ChatGPT. So right here, you can upload the file, you can upload a photo, open it in the app itself. So we're going to go upload a photo, and I'm going to take a photo from my photos library, and I'm going to ask this photo right here, and there's some text in the photo, so I want ChatGPT to automatically do that. All right, so the photo's added, and I'm going to ask, ask it to let me know the text in the photo. And now what it's going to do is it's going to upload the attachment and it's going to write down what's in there. That way I can copy and paste it and use it in other photos. And there you go. And it found the text. Very, very cool. So that's an easy way of taking a photo, maybe getting some text out of it. Let's do another example. We're going to upload a file. So I'm going to take my old profile right here. I'm going to upload this. And I'm going to say provide... A one paragraph summary and it's going to take this and it's going to create a paragraph style of my profile what I used back at Apple so they're giving me a whole thing right here and that's an example of taking something within my PDF and maybe breaking it down because I asked it to basically take this bio and provide a one paragraph summary one of the other highlighted features of ChatGPT is this little headphone button right here this is where you can actually have a voice conversation with ChatGPT. And it's basically telling me I can start speaking. So I'm going to tell ChatGPT, hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing well. Thanks. How about you? I'm doing great. Can you provide me directions to the Running Deer Golf Club? I have to go Friday at 2 o'clock. Sure, I can help with that. Could you please tell me your starting location? Sure, I'm starting in Princeton, New Jersey. Starting from Princeton, New Jersey. Here are the directions to Running Deer Golf Club. One, head southwest on Nassau Street toward Palmer Square East. Two, turn right onto Bayard Lane. I'm going to click to interrupt. Six. Do you mind just giving me the actual directions using Apple Maps or Google Maps? Here are the directions from Princeton NJ to Running Deer Golf Club in Pittsgrove NJ. One, start by getting onto I-295. It's not perfect, as you can tell. US-206S. So I'm going to stop it. So that, that's just an idea of what's going on with it. it um, but what's great is when I go back, hey, they actually have everything written down. So honestly, I didn't have to even continue the conversation. So it's great to have uh, written directions here. And then I want it step by step. So I got a little more detail, if you could see, between this one and this one, because I'm going somewhere uh, at that time. So it actually understood everything I was doing, which is really great. So I think that the microphone button right here is, is you can have a real conversation with them. By the way, you can set up different voices for that, and of course you have to give microphone permission to do that. If you want to do the quick pop-up and then do the attachment, uh, take a screenshot, see what's on your screen, uh, upload a photo, take a photo. So if I take a photo, I can use my own camera. And I can say, what color is my shirt? And then we'll get an answer, hopefully. And my shirt is gray. So there you go. There's a perfect example. So I just wanted to show you an example of how this works out. Uh, but I think this is going to be very useful for me to use because a lot of times I go to the website just to do it. Now that I have an actual bar built directly into my machine, I think this is going to be a game changer for me to use. So you can go ahead, download ChatGPT right now. It's completely free to do. Sign up with a profile so that way you have everything here that you've already written up in the history. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I love every single one of you.